surface of the moon the surface of the moon earth's only natural satellite has many craters plains mountains and valleys craters were formed when meteorites comets and asteroids smashed into moon's surface at high speed the flat areas are called seas or maria the rocky mountain areas are called highlands scientists believe these were formed around 3.5 to 4.5 billion years ago it does not have light of its own but reflects the light it receives from the sun the moon is surrounded by a vacuum and lacks an atmosphere it has no liquid water on its surface the surface temperatures on the moon are extreme all these conditions on the moon possibly do not support life the absence of air on the lunar surface makes the moon a dry lifeless and very quiet place as sound cannot travel in the absence of air or any medium moon facts tides the various phases of the moon are accompanied by the formation of tides the tides in the oceans occur due to the gravitational force of the sun and the moon the full moon and the new moon cause the ocean waters to rise higher as compared to the first and the last quarter phases of the moon twice a day the ocean waters rise and fall during high and low tides respectively this tidal cycle lasts for about 24 hours and 50 minutes due to this high or low tides occur every 12 hours 25 minutes the knowledge of tides holds great value especially for fishermen and sailors spring tides and neap tides during the full moon and new moon phases the sun the earth and the moon align in a near straight line So twice a month the tidal level is slightly higher than the average In both the phases the gravitational forces of the moon and the sun combine to exert a stronger gravitational force on the oceanic waters and produce the highest high tides and the lowest low tides These are called the spring tides during the first and the last quarter phases the moon and the sun are perpendicular that is at right angles to each other and therefore their respective gravitational forces cancel each other this results in a lower tidal range than the average The lower gravitational pull produces the lowest high tide and highest low tide. These are called neap tides. Phases of the moon. The moon is a non-luminous heavenly body. We can see the moon because the sun's light illuminates it. The moon revolves round the earth which in turn 
revolves round the sun. As a result, the moon at times comes between the earth and the sun, while at other times, the earth comes between the sun and the moon. This change in position of the moon between the sun and the earth creates the phases of the moon. Full Moon The full moon takes place when moon is on the opposite side of the earth from the sun. The moon usually passes above or below the earth's shadow. Thus, the moon reflects the light of the sun and thereby appears completely illuminated. New Moon The new moon takes place when the moon comes between the sun and the earth. During this time, the unlit side of the moon faces the earth, while its illuminated side faces the sun. Therefore, the moon is not seen very clearly from the earth on a new moon night. Shadows We have learnt that the moon is visible from the earth because the moon reflects the sun's light. Let us understand more about how shadows are formed on earth. Shadows are dark shapes of an opaque object or a body that comes between a source of light and the surface on which the shadow falls. Shadows are always formed in the direction opposite to the source of light. How are shadows formed? Shadows are formed because light travels in a straight line. An opaque object does not allow light to pass through. This forms an imprint of that object on a surface opposite to light source. The farther the light source, the longer is the shadow made by the object. We observe that the smallest shadow is formed when the sun is exactly overhead. A shadow is always a two-dimensional imprint of the object. A translucent object allows only a little light to pass through it. A transparent object allows all light to pass through it. Eclipse An eclipse is a natural phenomenon that gives a unique opportunity to study and understand the effect of light in nature. It occurs due to the positions and the shadows of the earth, the moon and the sun with respect to one another. Solar Eclipse A solar eclipse occurs when the moon comes in between the sun and the earth. As a result, the moon blocks the sun's light from falling on certain regions of the earth. For the people in these regions, the sun appears to be blocked by the moon for some time. This is called a solar eclipse. During the solar eclipse, we are unable to see the sun in the sky and the day appears a little dark for some time. A solar eclipse can last for around 7 minutes and 31 seconds. The solar eclipse occurs 
only on a new moon day but not on every new moon day a total solar eclipse occurs when the sun cannot be seen at all while a partial solar eclipse occurs when only a part of it is visible lunar eclipse a lunar eclipse occurs when the earth comes in between the sun and the moon during a lunar eclipse the earth casts its shadow on the moon consequently either the entire visible surface of the moon appears dark that is total lunar eclipse or a part of it appears dark that is partial lunar eclipse a total lunar eclipse can last for a duration of around 1 hour and 45 minutes at the end of the eclipse the moon becomes visible as it receives sunlight planets planets are heavenly bodies that revolve around a star for example sun in their own particular path called the orbit the orbit is elliptical or oval in shape they do not have light of their own we see them shining because they reflect the light of the star around which they revolve because they are all at different distances from the sun each one takes a different length of time to revolve once there are eight planets in our solar system namely mercury Venus Earth Mars Jupiter Saturn Uranus and Neptune They vary greatly in size Mercury is the smallest and Jupiter is the largest Earth is the only planet in our solar system that has life. 